Hey Church family, we're praying that despite the rapid changes that have happened this week, you've you still had an excellent and blessed week. We're praying for you and we just want to um, encourage you not to lose heart in this season. You know, in 2 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul writes this, Do not lose heart, though our outer, outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. This light and momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison as we look not to the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, fading away, but the things that are unseen are eternal. You know, I used to work with this guy and he had one analogy that he would use for everything. And his analogy was this, when a plane takes off, it's got a destination, it's going, it's got a course set. But as time goes along, uh, the weather uh, happens around it, you know, um, uh, there's changes um, to, to the, the way the plane can go and the pilot needs to make a course correction along the way to make sure they reach their destination. Now he would change it for everything. like. He would talk about, oh, when someone's trying to get to the moon, the astronaut needs to course correct. Or when you're riding a horse, if you don't correct the horse, he won't stay on the path. Or when you're driving to work, um, if the driver doesn't course correct along the way, it's going to run off road. He'll just use the same analogy for everything. I mean, different mode of transport, but same story. But in our situation, it rings true. Things are changing for us rapidly. The things that are happening around coronavirus, well, we haven't gone through anything like this before. And things like stage three restrictions coming back in, it's meant that we've had to course correct what's happening. But can I encourage you not to lose heart? This is a moment in time where we need to keep an eternal perspective. The perspective of what we are trying to achieve as a church, and that is to be a gospel light to our community. I'm so encouraged by the community pantry in the East. I'm encouraged that they continue in a socially distanced and responsible way to be a light to, uh, to the good news of Jesus Christ, to the disadvantaged in the local community. And I know stuff like that is happening through the Hope Center in the North as well. I'm encouraged by Nathan Mann, who is in charge of youth in the East, and also by Dave in the North, who continue to connect with young people through Zoom and other, other ways to make sure that they are hearing the gospel uh, for themselves in this season. I'm encouraged by our kids team. Uh, our East team uh, has been helping uh, with putting together some of those videos. And I'm encouraged there that we have a church that is considering the disadvantaged and the young in this period of time. They're doing a fantastic job and it is going to have an eternal impact. There are great things happening. We're going to be back together soon enough. We're going to be meeting together as, again soon enough. But God is doing great things in this season. Let's not lose heart. Let's look at this as a course correction on the journey God has us on. If you need prayer, if you have situations in your life that are needing uh, uh, people to, to pray into, can I encourage you to get in contact with a member of the, the leadership team, a pastor or a leader, um, and we'll, we want to pray with you that God will move into that situation in this time. But as we move into stage three restrictions, let's not forget God is doing great things. God bless you.